opening with the queen's pawn controls the center and usually leads to a more positional development of the pieces. d5 establishes a presence in the center, controls the e4 square, and opens up the light squared bishop. The queen's gambit offers up a wing pawn to attack the center and distract black from the e4 square. In the Slav defense, c6 supports the d5 pawn. Nf3 controls the e5 square and protects the d4 pawn. Nf6 develops the knight toward the center, adds support to the d5 pawn, and controls the e4 square. Nc3 attacks the d5 square and starts to fight for the e4 square. Dxc4 captures the c4 pawn and opens up the center. A4 stops the b7b5 advance, which would have allowed black to keep the c4 pawn. Bf5 develops the bishop and controls the e4 square. Ne5 places the knight on an active center square where it attacks the c4 pawn and the f7 pawn. Nbd7 develops the knight toward the center, attacks the knight on e5 and defends the knight on f6. Nxc4 captures the c4 pawn and places the knight on an active square where it controls the e5, d6, and b6 squares. Qc7 develops the queen stops bf4 ideas from white and controls the e5 square. g3 prepares to fianchetto the light squared bishop to g2, where it will control the center from the long diagonal. e5 takes space in the center, attacks the d4 pawn and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. dx e5 captures the e5 pawn and attacks the knight on f6. nx e5 captures the e5 pawn and attacks the knight on c4. Bf4 develops the bishop toward the center and pins the knight to the queen. Nfd7 defends the pinned knight on e5. Bg2 places the bishop on the long diagonal in a move called a fianchetto. F6 protects the knight and controls the g5 square. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. It is the last book move. This moves the bishop to a more active square, making it gain scope. It is excellent. After all captures, this is an equal trade. It is good. Takes back. It is good. This is a fair move. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to develop a piece while also winning a tempo on a queen. It is a mistake. Right on target. It is best. The rooks can see each other now, allowing them to provide mutual defense. It is best. This activates a queen by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to win material. It is good. This overlooks a better way to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is an inaccuracy. Recaptures. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is a mistake. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is an equal trade. It is best. Takes back. It is best. This threatens to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. Only one move worked there, and this wasn't it. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a queen. It is a mistake. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be challenged by opposing pawns as it tries to promote. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This overlooks an opportunity to threaten winning a pawn. This allows the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop. It is a mistake. There was only one good move there. This overlooks an opportunity to reveal an attack on a bishop. This allows the opponent to activate a rook by getting it to the 7th rank. It is a miss. Recaptures. It is best. This activates a rook by getting it to the 7th rank and also restricts the opponent's king. It is best. There was only one good move in that position. This misses an opportunity to defend a bishop that was under attack. It is a mistake. This loses a rook. This missed a move that would have produced a winning position. This ignores an opportunity to push a passed pawn towards promotion. It is a blunder. 
This threatens to reveal an attack on a rook while also checking the king. This misses a chance to obtain a winning position. This overlooks an opportunity to capture a free rook. It is a miss. This pushes a passed pawn. It is good. This overlooks an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to reveal an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is a mistake. This exposes an attack on a bishop while also checking the king. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is excellent. This removes a bishop that was threatening to win material. It is best. This steps away from the checking bishop. It is best. This threatens to force eventual checkmate. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. White really outplayed black in that one. Both players had an amazing opening. The middle game was messy, but white got the better of it.